Welcome to the Dr. Terpy Show. How's everyone doing this evening? Hope everybody's doing okay. I smell like one giant bud right now. I have been harvesting a string called Ewok all day. Boy. Smells so good. What a neat strain, too. Very stinky. My goodness. All right, let's get a couple of people in right here just for a quick shake. And we'll jump in here. I've got a really interesting review. I was sent a couple of uh, neat CBD products to do a review on. All right, good enough. Hey, Cody. How's it going, mister? How you doing out there? All right. Need to get the lighting a little bit better here, don't I? It's just not so great. Anyway. All right. How's everybody doing out there? Welcome to the Dr. Turpy Show. We have a couple of fine products by a company called Firebird Touch Therapy. They're, they're out of California. Uh, Robin is the name of the owner, and um, very nice products. They sent me a couple of these. This one, they call Fire Kitty Holy Anointing Oil. So what's really neat, this has frankincense, mirth, rosemary, I believe that's coliander, cinnamon, and cannabis. And it says that you can use this either oral or topical. So, very nice, very nice idea. And then, we have got baby CBD blend. I'm assuming this is for, like, children with, you know, seizure disorders or whatever that might need it. And uh, very nice packaging. You can actually see the syringe of oil in there. And it looks, and you can see it, there you go, a little bit. The oil looks clear. Quite clear, and I believe this is done with uh, sugar grain alcohol. Yeah, sugar cane alcohol. So it even lists for you, you know, the ingredients. Not such a thing as CBD fico. Well, you know, doctor, I won't argue the point with you. <laughs> I'm just stating with what they put on here. I agree, you know, but terminology as it is. <clears throat> So, let's see. First off, let's test this out. So, she sent me a dropper to go with it. Um, let's see. The instructions. It just says you can apply topically for inflammation and muscular pain. Very interesting. So... Wow, very nice smell. Wow, you can smell the frankincense in there for sure. The cinnamon, what's all in this one? Well, it's the cinnamon, coliander. Yeah, you can smell the rosemary and the frankincense in there. Let's get a little bit out just to see what the color is. So here's the color of it. Hey, Sam, how you doing, mister? CBD products, supposed to work really good for with pain. This has got frankincense, mirth, myrrh, uh, rosemary, coliander, I believe that's how you say it, uh, cinnamon, and cannabis oil. So, and it says you can use it either orally or topically. So first off, let's take a taste of it. Hey, Sam. Hey, Brian. So, put a little bit on my finger here. Kind of tastes like a, like a tea maybe. Kind of a spicy kind of a tea. Not spicy, hot, but just has a you know like flavor, cinnamony. I'm not sure what the hell frankincense is supposed to taste like. So next, I've got arthritis in my hands. So just for the hell of it, we're gonna try some of this on my hand. So it is a real thin, thin oil to it. 
it has a really neat smell kind of real earthy you know not perfumey or anything like that a very thin oil and the smell is very pleasant it seems to rub in fairly well not you know little oil there very nice the smell is wonderful I like that what is the so wait wait wonder if that's supposed to be used in conjunction with the fico RSO um, you know they have a if you want you can actually go on their website and um, they give you an explanation more about what each product does so let's see the fire kitty oil says olive oil infused with cannabis frankincense myrrh rosemary caliander and cinnamon the other herbs catalyze the cannabis for an ex excellent topical healing experience this is a great alternative for those who are sensitive to the concentrated oil and not able to take it internally so it says for excellent for all muscular and neural related conditions and then the uh, cannabinol cannabidol excuse me cbd oil the high concentrate CBD oil is made from organic outdoor flowers. We use a 190 proof organic sugarcane derived alcohol extraction method. Our CBD oil is tested at 50% CBD and 2% THC. CBD oil can be used in conjunction with the THC concentrate. So they also sell, they are from California, so... If you're in California, you can, you know, purchase their THC products, but since we're, you know, different state, they can't, you know, send the THC products this direction. So it says you can use in conjunction with the THC contrains to lower the psychoactive effect of THC. CBD oil alternatives may, or excuse me, CBD oil alleviates many neurological and inflammatory conditions. Very cool. So, yes, you can, I'm sure, you know. Um, well, you know, I, you know, doctor, I don't actually know. But if the packaging is anything, it says baby blend CBD FICO. So, I'm sure if I went to the website, I just got this, so I haven't really researched it much. Hey, Dylan, how's it going? We just tested... Uh, so now I can I kind of feel so right where I rub that on it's kind of like a real light kind of a light warming sort of effect you know I don't know if that's the other you know alternate but it really actually feels kind of nice the smell is quite it's not very strong so it's not potent but I believe that's probably frankincense as far as I know so let's open up the package and they do give you like the the disclaimer warning on there that you know could be whatever. So let's open this up. Nice packaging. Very nice packaging. The color of the oil kind of gets me. I wonder how they get it so light colored. You know, maybe they winterize the hell out of it when they're done or something. So, Life Pilot is what it says on here. And it gives you the actual cannabinoid breakdown. Let's see. I've just started learning about frankincense and I'm looking into fine supplement IR. So, Really? See, I haven't really looked into frankincense with it, so I'm, I'm, that's very interesting. I will have to do that. Thank you, Don. Dr. Lindsay says, I, uh, I see the packaging. Not your fault, buddy, but does not meet the standard for fecal oil. You know, I agree, and until I guess we get, you know, a, a set standardization where, you know, so we can actually say no, you know, you're incorrect. Here's the legal terminology, and this is what you've got to stick by, you know. Because the people still call it RSO around here. You know, I'm constantly, constantly having to correct people, you know. 
no RSO and FICO. It's, RSO is just kind of the name that Rick Simpson, because but you know, FICO is, if we're trying to get it legalized, we got to stick to some actual terminology. So that being said, let's give it a try. So it has a seal to it, too, so you know if it's been tampered with, which is kind of clever. So you can see once it's been opened, you know, the, the little packaging tears on there, so you can tell if it's been tampered with. That's kind of cool. So it's, there's tampering. So this says that this is a baby blend, so I'm not sure what the heck they quite mean by that, whether it's just 50%. You can kind of taste, uh, it does have a very kind of a, a hempy. Hmm. Very interesting, different kind of a flavor. It's not very strong or bad. It has a definitely a different tasting fico. I've never tried, or cannabis oil. <laughs> we'll stick with that. It's a different flavor to, I'm not sure, quite sure. It's almost like a cedar taste to it. Interesting. I mean, it's not bad at all. Very different, though. Well, thank you very much for letting me uh, sample and review your products. I very much appreciate that. Very interesting. I hope everyone out there found it as interesting and informative as I did. Give them a look up. www.firebirdtouchtherapy.com Alrighty. Thank you, Robin Swan. There's the owner. Thank you, Robin. Alrighty. One love, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.